So um, this is a, I'm opening the planning board meeting on um, August 26, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, <clears throat> meetings normally held in the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the Governor Baker's, Baker's June 16, 2021 Act extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency, including the extension of the remote participation provisions of his <clears throat> March 20th, 2020 executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GL chapter 30A, section 20. Um, remote meeting connections are in fact noted on the town website and um, meeting attendees should mute their phones star six for landlines unless asking questions or commenting and all attendees should wait to speak until other participants are finished and they are called by the chair. <clears throat> Meeting attendees also should mute their phones unless asking questions or commenting and all attendees should wait to speak. Yet yeah, again, yeah, yeah, I say until other participants are finished. Thank you. Annalee, that was Open great considering time. your different time zones. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So I'll call the meeting of the uh, Select Board, Board of Health, um, and we are having a joint meeting with the Planning Board. So all of the aforementioned things by Anna Lee are um, the same for this meeting. So I'll just call this meeting to order for August 26, 2021 at 732. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah. Sarah. Thank you. Um, I, I want to begin that we need, let's do the simple thing first. The first thing is the frontage for municipal facilities on town owned lots. We both groups uh, voted in favor of that. However, I we were all under the uh, assumption that the Leary lot was part of the Center Village Residential District. It is not. So what we're gonna do is um, make the footnote instead of the CVRD, um, Sorry, it's just my grandkids. Um, in the C, it will be in the CVRD and the C1 districts only. So we're gonna include the C1, which is the small commercial district, which would include the Leary lot. It encompasses, which is good, the Cumberland Farms, you know, the center of the town. So um, if anyone had a question on that, um, I think both boards need to revote that. Is that correct, uh, Casey? Yeah. Okay. Did are, you want to discuss it? Are there any Good questions? Good catch. Well, it was my fault. I should have been more familiar with the zoning because you know I've been looking at the zoning maps forever, but I honestly really thought that it included the Leary lot. So, okay, I would make- well, the It's a substitution for a CR- it's, it, it includes the Center Village Residential District because we, we want that for the park, we want that for Brayburn, and we yeah. want that for senior housing if we do that behind the town hall or something you know, in the general area. But we also want to include the, the C1 district because it's absolutely important to include the Leary lot because we only have a 50 foot. We could do a subdivision road on the park. We could do a subdivision road um, off North, North Main Street when we buy a house or something like that. But we can't do a, we don't have the room to do a subdivision road uh, um, and make it one way through the Leary lot. It is only 50 feet. So no. it truly, if you're gonna go into the parking lot, which is what we wanna do because we wanna make, have some greenery in there and, and, and connect with um, Berkshire Brew and, you know, really snaz up the place. So we want a one way through to Elm Street and we only have 50 feet. Yeah. So it's absolutely essential to include the small business district, which is C1. Yep. So for the select board, I'll make a motion to approve the revised language um, stating oh. the... Oh, oh I say the revised footnote the revised would, footnote with nine, which is in the CVR D and C1 districts only, the minimum frontage requirement shall not apply to town owned lots used for municipal facilities, which shall be required to have no less than 50 feet of frontage or take any other action relative thereto. I will second that. 
Okay. Any further discussion? Nope. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Oh, Carolyn? hi, Carolyn Ness. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I was just, sorry. Hi, Dave Wolfram. It is a motion it, carry three zero zero. And I have not been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> For the plan board, you have grandkids. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have grandkids. Just stop bragging about that. No, really. Like, uh, I'll have grandchildren. We're whining. Hey, <laughs> grandchildren uh, less. Aunt, Aunt, uh, Anna Lee is uh, out there with her new one. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, I've got one and one on the way. We have a similar so motion well. um, for the planning board. I don't know that we can say exactly what the motion was, but. Uh, so the motion, I, yeah, go ahead. The motion would include um, in the CVRD and C1 districts only. That's, you've added C1 only to what you voted on Monday. So maybe our motion would be to add C1 to the fit footnote that we approved on Monday. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's what I'll move. I'll move that um, we amend the our previous um, bylaws to change to include the C1 uh, district. I second that. Um, any other discussion? Uh, so let's see. Um, Regarding municipal. Mary? Mm -hmm. Amy, include your eye. Uh, Kathy Sylvester. Kathy Sylvester, aye. Denise. Denise Mason, aye. Rachel. Rachel Blaine, aye. And Emily Wolfcool, aye. So the mayor, the measure passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I am so thankful that you are doing this. That, that's mm -hmm. a relief for us. Um, now, what we're looking at is the revised version from Costa with changes from NAS, incorporation of language from Borstein reviewed by Mead. Does everyone have that copy? Okay. One thing that I caught that was supposed to be eliminated in um, 4954 uses um, number um, five, it says museum and zoos. Zoos were eliminated by the Board of Health Chair, me. Uh, in the initial in the initial um, draft, because um, I'm already stressed out with so many things, I cannot imagine inspecting a zoo. So um, I'd have to go through millions of trainings, and I'm not interested. So I'm, I, it was purely selfish to eliminate zoos. If people feel strongly about zoos, we can put it back in. But that was like strongly that you made the right and, choice. And and if they really truly want to do that, they can come forward and forty nine fifty nine modification of requirements and put it back in. So is that, at, your, at your permission, I have, I have a question: is, is the zoo like a? Um, are they referring to that? It's like a petting zoo where we have a couple of donkeys and a few sheep show up, or are they talking a zoo zoo? Because I think a petting zoo seems, you know, like hey, we're going to have a petting zoo. We've got a few kids coming and. This will be a fun weekend, but not a zoo. <laughs> we're, we're, they don't define it. Permanent. I feel that if they want to do the the petting zoo kind of thing, they yeah. can contract with a local um, right. farmer. Yep. They can bring in their animals. Like there's a wonderful lady in Sunderland that runs uh, yes. a kind of yeah. school that yep. my grand, yep. my grandkids actually do, and and Victoria does their little ponies and donkeys and mini. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So, um, okay. I, you know, they can contract with somebody like that. That's part right. of the entertainment license. Right. And, right. and we are perfectly okay with that because, but yeah, when you put in zoo yeah. like, you know, like of animals, number I, one, you got- No one animals penned up. Right, you Thank got you. Pens, we don't want and care and- Yeah, no. I, I, I mean, I can't even imagine from a board of health point of view, from a volunteer board of health point of view, we just, I can't. Okay. No, I agree. I agree with that. I just don't think it's important to have a zoo anyways. I don't think well, so. I, what was the, the rationale for museums? Oh, well, that, that would be if, you know, they had a permanent um, display for, um, no, museums is fine. We left that oh, in. Okay. It, was, it was just, yep. 
I had crossed out in the original original language zoos, and the reason and it why just snuck back in. Yep. The work to the town. So we we just don't have staffing for that yep. kind of thing, and I. Okay. No, we don't have staffing. That means the select board stands, you know, steps in. And um, I mean, Casey and Jen, everybody's maxed out, but so are we. And I, I, ugh. I don't think they're humane anyway. So okay. yeah. I don't want to see that. Oh, I think we're good. But, um, so can we talk a little bit? So this is an amendment. The, the way it's written, it's hard to see what has changed from the original. Uh, um... Well, we, we, what happened is we nailed down some of the uh, requirements for sure okay if you look at the there was back and forth i felt i wasn't even going to charge anything for warehousing because warehousing now is not you know i mean i felt like that was you know it's mostly mechanic mechanical it's one guy going in with a you know forklift and moving stuff around and 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 i i felt manufacturing you know, was, um, you know, so everything is computerized and equipment and you have, you have to have smart people, few smart people. And it's not like it's labor intensive. So um, I wasn't going to even, I was going to combine them and, and do, they, 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 I feel that they, if everything was wholly, totally occupied, I went through the calculations, it's between four and 500, um, parking places. They have eliminated some of the parking currently because of the pickup operation, but there is probably two, I, I think there's existing now is 282. So they've got to, as they expand, they probably need to come up with, you know, around 200 more spaces. And so I think these calculations are very fair. And that was, I mean, and that's keeping the warehousing in. I. It's not going to add up to that much, but you know, whatever. If nobody has a problem with it, why not keep it in? It just gives you guys more to work with. And then also the um, open space, the open space in the forty nine fifty eight. Um, originally, it was much higher. Um, what I think it should be like between 20, we have, you, you know, we can't, you can't build on a, a lot right now, more than 80% coverage pervious surf impervious surface. So we already have essentially a 20% set aside. So I felt comfortable in 20 to 25%. But my thought was, if, you know, if they have 500 parking places, what we would want to do is you have you guys as the planning board and they came in and they said, we're going to rip up our 500 um, place parking spaces and put imper uh, pervious pavers in if we can go down to 20% or, you know, this is obviously years in the future. There's no, no way that they don't have that already sitting there. But if they're building, if they have all, say they build the hotel, they do, you know, all this, you know, crazy stuff and um, 10 years from now, and they want to go down from the 25%, I would, I would say you guys could negotiate something like, okay, let's have pervious pavers in your parking lot we'll go down to 15% for you because that's clearly a million dollar project. So, and that's good for, you know, the area or whatever. So I felt 25% was region, reasonable at, given the parcels that we're talking about on both sides of route five and 10, mm -hmm. there's plenty of open area on both. Um, and then it, the person could come in and negotiate down with the planning board for alternative use of that space at some point if they wanted less than you know if 25 percent turned into too onerous and you did this you did this work with your um i think your site plan review changes like you had um benefits that people could get when they you know tr trading back and forth some some ideas so we felt like maybe if that was incorporated in it would work out so that gives you a little bit of, it gives you something to bargain with to get some good green stuff. 
I'm not saying that they wouldn't volunteer to do the green stuff to begin with, but I just thought upping it to 25% was reasonable. Does that make sense? And then the other, um, uh, there was two other things. So the building um, cap was 150,000 gross uh, square feet specializing in the production of beer, distilled spirits, wine, cider, mead, and or alcoholic beverages, whatever. So they have 107,000 square feet already in pre-existing. So that just gives you, four, that gives them 43,000 more square feet. Again, if 10 years from now, that's not enough. Um, I feel like they could come and they could argue favorably or advocate in front of the planning board for you know a change if they had a really good idea. And then the last thing, I this is this is one that I want us to start out restrictive because you know um, when we go to the public hearing we can loosen it up. This is the one that I'm uncomfortable with. Um, this is under spe per special permitted uses. Um, number one, campgrounds offering temporary accommodations for travelers and other transient guests, including but not limited to the use of tents, recreational vehicles provided, however, that camping events shall occur no more than four times per calendar year and for, mo and for no more than four consecutive days per event. I... That's reasonable. I felt, yeah, I was just going to say, I'm a little concerned about leaving this not uh, restricted. Mm -hmm. And we can certainly loosen that up on the public hearing if we, um, you know, have conversations with Treehouse or whoever. But my concern is that from a Board of Health point of view, you know, you can't have people like camping out on a regular basis unless you're going to have outdoor facilities like bathrooms, right. showers, you know, places for people to wash. And, uh, you know, I know RVs and all that kind of stuff are um, contained, but, you know, you got to have a hookup to our they sewer. They still need water, water and sewage. Yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm a, I, I don't want that open ended. I right. would rather, I'd rather start out at least in our discussions, keeping that limited, at least until the public hearing. Because this, this gives them, you know, set, you know, four weekends a year of four day stretches, like maybe they do a somebody, you know, wherever somebody does a, um, you know, a holiday weekend camping thing with some, some shows and some fun activities and that kind of thing. I feel like it, I think it'd be a cool idea. But I agree, it shouldn't be open ended, and it should be a little more restrictive. And then, you know, we could discuss that as, as other things come on, but. Yeah, Anna, oh, Anna Lee, yes, go ahead. You're, this is a joint meeting. Yep, your chair. Uh, um, as some of you saw with our planning board last week or this week, um, as we're trying to figure out uh, sizes for things in relation to small scale solar, I'm trying to at, match our numbers to some um, generally accepted principles. So maybe tonight we don't necessarily need to have that, but I could imagine, especially for the public hearing, there might want to say, well, how, why 25% instead of 30%? Why four nights instead of five nights? You know, that sort of thing. So we might want to see if there is are any sort of generally accepted or generally used um, standards that we can tie our numbers onto. Okay. Well, even the biggest, even the biggest music festivals in the country, which would be Austin City Limits and New Orleans Jazz Fest and Newport Jazz Fest, they are, they don't do camping, right? And they are five nights for two weekends or three weeks consecutively. And locally, we have things like Gray Fox and, um, the sister um, festival in um, New York, the Bluegrass Festival. And they are, I think, four days once a year of camping. 
Okay. And I think that anybody who does this sort of, you know, hosting, I was just at the um, music festival in Montague last weekend. I plan on being at the um, Green River Fest. I go to Mass Mocha. I go to Fresh Grass. I go to these things a lot. I yeah. have a B-Dub camper. I camp a lot. So right. I just want to say that I think that this is generous. Like four okay. camping events a year in our town, I think is, would be a great problem to have, but plenty. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but more than enough. I, yeah. That's very helpful. Yeah. So, so, so with your with your experience, um, what do you think? I mean, um, is is it written well enough <clears throat> based on your experience? Do you think? So here's here's the only thing that I think of is that um, is it? <clears throat> no, I no. I think this is good. I okay. think if they wanted to do two weeks consecutively, which is how some do it, they do two weekends in a row, mm -hmm. then that's two of their events. And then they right. still have two to use at other times. I think that this is generous. Okay. 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 Uh, Annalie, yes. uh, I just want to respond to your comment when you mentioned 30%. Now, 30% is more restrictive. Yeah. Uh, we so can't 30. We couldn't couldn't go up to 30% from 25 if that's what we vote on. Right. But I, we could go I down don't have to 25. A, yes, I don't have a um, an opinion on 25 mm -hmm. versus 30. It's just yeah. why, why, why any number. We have, the other, our other zoning is basically 20. Yeah. So, but, so either we stick with 20 or we put in 20 tonight and we talk about going uh, uh, no, we can't go up to 25. Right. That's why I wanted to put in 25. Come down to 20. If we we might, we might go back down to 20. Um, this, the, the, I, I don't think giving the parcel and the kind of stuff that they want to do that You'll ever reach this down. is going to be this isn't is an overreach at all. Right. Uh, I, no, I, I but we can't we can't consider just the one operation. We got to consider. Right. Well, I'm I'm thinking across at. I'm I'm thinking across the street, Dave, too. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty wet property. So yeah. there's there's probably looking at it I, again, just eyeballing it. I'm not, you know, saying that this is there. It's at least 25% wet. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That parcel. So yeah. I that the, you know, that from the vet hospital down to 116. Those parcels would not have a problem meeting the 25% either. And that's no. why I picked the 25% because, you know, the, the new, if anybody, if the marijuana place goes forward, then um, maybe they'll want to keep this in the back of their mind and they'll do some green stuff or whatever, do something fancy, and they might want to have less open space at some point. So, yeah. I mean, who knows? But I, I don't think either one is going to have a problem meeting that. And of mm -hmm. course, um, uh, Yankee Candle, the other overlay part, is um, already grandfathered. You can't get 25% when it's already built out. So that's not even going to apply. Um, and then we had talked about um, this, this little spot little, here. This little spot here. And that, so. Um, we might tonight want to go back down to 20, given that par little parcel, because 25% might be too much for that little parcel. Mm. So, I don't know. I mean, Dave, it's up to you, because you know that parcel. Well, the both parcels are owned by the same person, I believe. And so the one in back is actually substantially larger, and it's open. There's no building on it. So, okay. Um, because at one point in time, he thought about putting like a, a Atkins farm or something in there. Right. And that would have encompassed, and he would have had probably 30% open space with that. So, oh, okay. Um, so you think that so, one is okay? also okay with 25%? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Because he's got, they've got more than 25% open now mm -hmm. with the building that's sitting there. Okay. You know, the I, only I, place that is, it's actually tighter than that is the old building that I used to run where Atlantic Furniture is when it was a plastics company. That with the impervious surfaces that are there is 80% right now. Okay. We maxed it out. 
Oh, no, it's grandfathered. Yep. Casey. Uh, actually, it's for Anne Mary Cloutier. She had her hand up. Oh, I'm sorry. No, sorry, that was from earlier. Does anybody she said she, to... wanted, she wanted to go camping that she had her hands up. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I think that's really Who wants to know when the first event is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did anybody else have any questions on the parking calculation? Did you ladies have any questions on the parking calculation? Because that we can calculate it differently. I just awesome. didn't want it overly complicated. If we go from th four to three events a year, is that more restrictive or less restrictive? Uh, that's that's more restrictive. So yeah. we could start out with three, and then we I would start out. with three. I, I just think that, that I, and I and I hear Anne saying it's generous. I think it, you know, I think to start with three is generous as well. I think that they're big events. We're not really inviting yeah. them to do three. Um, the, the chances of it getting that fat, growing that fast, that quickly, but. Anyway, well, and if you look at Mass Mocha, they, you know, they're a, a event heavy, right? They do, they're a place that has a lot of events a year. Yeah. And, you know, they, I can think of one biannual music festival that they do, the Wilco Festival, and then they do fresh grass every year, mm -hmm. not when there's a pandemic, obviously. And that's for like a huge facility. And then they do some concerts in between, but that wouldn't be camping, right? So these right. guys would still be open to that same model. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I, just, I don't disagree. Yeah. I agree. I'm I'm okay putting three because again, we can go up to four, we can go up to five, whatever, on the public hearing. But we have to print something in the paper for tomorrow at nine a.m. We have to. Mm -hmm. Casey has to submit it tonight. So three uh, events, uh, four consecutive days per event. It seems good. Uh, yeah, I I feel. Yeah. I think feel like four four days should be four days because you know long weekends and yeah because of porta potties yeah yes <laughs> like the cost of porta potty yeah <laughs> we also don't know really how, I mean it's new we don't quite know how it will all right go right. down in yep. this community right? I mean it could be great and we'd be like wow maybe we should have done four but it could maybe not be so much and say well I'm yeah. glad we only have three I mean I think it's safe yep. and it's fair. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Put in that forty nine fifty nine so that the applicant can always come, and and a petition you all for revision to any of the parts of this overlay. I mean, if it turns out people, this is going to be like a wonderful thing, then people can go ahead and do this. I think I think my concern, you know, we can't have it so so regular that we should be putting in facilities. I mean, I don't, you know what I mean. You you get to a point where you have to have permanent facilities. So, um, they might come for a proposal for permanent facilities. Again, that's up to you to as a special permitting authority to to discuss it with them, but. I think by then they'll have a track record. You'll know exactly what you're thinking of and you know whoever's on the Board of Health would certainly weigh in by that point, I think. Okay, then I would make a motion that the uh, um, select board uh, approve the tourism overlay district um, as proposed with scratching out of zoos and zoos on number five, and that we lower the um, amount to three times per calendar a year, but four consecutive days. And then um, I guess that's it. Everybody. I have, I have a quick question. Is, yeah. is it four consecutive days, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, might, or is it any four consecutive days? We're, we're, we're letting them to decide. Yeah. You, you could have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You could have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because it's a three-day weekend with a Monday holiday. Who knows? 
So I that's mean, less restrictive. I mean, they can pick their four days. Oh yes, they can yeah. just, we were saying four days, consecutive days. If, again, if you have someone sitting there for five days, I don't know what, a, maybe Anne Mary can clarify, but you know, you, some, you're gonna have to get rid of something. Yeah, you know? yes, totally. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to be at a temporary site. Yeah. More than four. That long. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And, and mm -hmm. at some point people are going to have to take showers really. So I, I, you know, four days seems reasonable. I'm not trying to be like prudish about this, but honestly, you know, go get a shower and, you know, flush out your stuff somewhere else at that point. So this is just the overlay of uh, the property um, of Treehouse. This is across the street. Um, and then it, it goes the other side, this other small parcel on the other side of 116. And then there's the Yankee Candle and then the spot right here, which is um, there's a barbecue place here in an empty lot right now. We thought it would make sense for something for tourism. It's basically our corridor. What yeah. we're trying to do is um, promote and take care of our corridor. What if Yankee corporate were to, why do we, we take, I mean, we're not including Yankee corporate, right? Right. No, no. no. Why That's, not actually make it a corridor? That's the whole thing, the whole strip. Well, office buildings are already built and the idea, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be overly generous. <laughs> I want to, I want to start out fairly, you know, to keep control of this kind of thing. I, we need the synergy. We need um, people to be doing great things, but on the other hand, you know, I, I don't, we can always expand it. All it takes is a town meeting. All it takes is us getting together and saying, okay, why don't we include, you know, we want to amend this, you know, map, overlay map, but I think this is a good start. Or I feel comfortable based on Dave. Dave is the one that really thought about it, and I, I feel comfortable with his observations as being, you know, having grown up here and knowing the history of all the lots, etc. Okay. And just for a point of interest, where you see all those W's, those are actually M's because I was holding the map the other way. Those are the ones we were considering for municipal overlays. And Brayburn wasn't on there because the, the map didn't show off North Main Street that was encompassing that. Okay. Um, so is there a Another second question? to my motion? Are you sure? Oh, I'll, I'll second your motion, Carolyn. I, I didn't I didn't hear the motions. <laughs> oh, the motion was to um, vote. The tourism overlay district, as presented, except um, number five, we had eliminated zoos. That was from an earlier yeah. I got back yeah. in. We okay. we reduced number one under special permitted areas from four times a year to three times a year, um, because then we can discuss it at the public hearing, and yeah. and it was going to be for four consecutive days. Okay. Yep. That's what I thought. I just, Everything I had a, a blank screen for a short and, time. And to present and the, that. And the to present 25% that. is already part of what you have there. Yes. 25% is already listed. Yep. And to present that to the planning board for a public hearing. Okay. And you seconded it, right, Jerry? Uh, I, I did. I seconded the yeah. motion. I just called you my son-in-law, Jared. It's been <laughs> one of those days. <laughs> Late. I like Subway. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to go there. <laughs> the uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? I Carolyn Ness. I Trevor McDaniel. I Dave Wolfram. Motion carried three zero zero. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> and could we have a similar motion from the planning board to um, approve the? Tourism overlay district, except 
for eliminating zoos in number five and in number one, changing it from four to three times a year, four consecutive days. Yes, I make the motion that, which is what Annalie just said. Why mm -hmm. repeat it? Second? I second it. Thank you, Annalie. Uh, any further discussion? Okay, um, Kathy Sylvester. You're muted. Kathy Sylvester, aye. Sorry. And Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba, aye. And Mary Cloutier. And Mary Cloutier, aye. Denise. Denise Mason, aye. Uh, Rachel. Rachel Blaine, aye. And Emily Wolfpool, aye. So the motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative of everybody being so accommodating to pull yes. this meeting together. Because we do not need to vote to open a public hearing. We just that's what we just did, right? Actually, we didn't. You, you voted to forward it to you to the forwarded to it. So what, what did we just? We voted to accept it. Right, but I you'll need to. You probably we need should to vote to to put it on a public hearing for the third of September. Yes. So I I'm, I move that we um, open a public hearing the third of thirteenth of September at seven o'clock to um, to review this in a public hearing. A second. Thank you, now, uh, Denise. That was you. Uh, both Kathy and I seconded it. You could. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any further discussion? Um. So let's have a vote, Denise. Um, yes. <clears throat> Rachel? Rachel Blaine, yes. Anne Mary? Anne Mary Cloutier, yes. Kathy Wittroba? Kathy Wittroba, yes. And Kathy Sylvester? Kathy Sylvester, yes. Thank you. So that carries. So we will be having that on uh, as a public hearing on 913. And Casey, I'm sure, will make sure that that posting occurs ASAP. Yes, she's going to be. Still at the town offices trying to get this ready for tomorrow's um, 9 a.m. Uh, deadline. <laughs> oh boy. So thank you, Casey, and thank, thank you, Jen, and I really appreciate it. And ladies, thank you again, honestly, um, mm. Trevor and Dave, uh, coming forward so we can get this done and not put it off till next year. So thank you. Thank you for all your help. I move that we adjourn. I said, I said you beat me to it. I'm telling you, I'm quick on that one. <laughs> everybody just raise their hands. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you again. Yep. Bye bye. Um, okay. I make the motion we adjourn as well. And thank you, Jeff, for coming. I'll second that. You're welcome. Thank you. I vote yes. I'm not in favor, gonna, yes. Dave, we weren't wa waiting for you to call. <laughs> so it goes in there. Yeah. I know. Too bad, Dave. I don't see anything else. It's on the assignment's agenda. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Oh, we already adjourned, Dave. No. <laughs> we already voted to adjourn, Dave. <laughs>